Hi, today we're going to look at using magnifier to make things on the screen easier to see. There are two ways to load this particular app. Down in the search engine at the bottom of your screen if you type in magnifier and click on it, the app will appear on the left hand side of your screen. An alternative way of doing this is on your keyboard. If you click on the Windows key and the plus key, the same thing will happen. There are three views in this particular app. The docked view, which you can see there, so everything on the top of the screen is mirroring what you're running your cursor along. The full screen really shows this full screen and you can zoom in or out depending on what you want to do. The third one then is probably the more used one, which is the lens view. Basically, you move the lens to wherever you want to look, so it be a text or image. There are more options on this particular app. You click on it. So currently we're on magnifier. On cursor and pointer, this is ideal for anybody who has Irland syndrome or dyslexia or who just prefers to have a tinted screen of habit or preference. So you can change the pointer size, you can change the pointer color and you can change the cursor thickness, all of which might be of benefit. Under color filters, when you turn on the toggle, you have the options to select a color filter, be it inverted, grayscale or grayscale inverted. There are also options for anyone who's colorblind in red green. If you look at the color chart down below, red green in red weak or blue yellow. Suggestion here would be you turn off your toggle if you're not going to be using them. High contrast. Turning it on, give it a second and you will notice that the app itself has changed as in the color scheme. So the buttons on it, links, etc. have changed color. That's because you can set them. So you can set the text to black, hyperlinks to whatever color, but it blew in this instance and it disabled text is in the red and then select the text from there on in. Make sure you turn it off if you're not going to use it again, if you're just trying it out. And as you can see, the app has changed back to its normal color. To get out of the app, press escape or just simply X. Thank you.